Shalom and welcome to our trippy food Passover special. Today is a very special holy day. And to all my Jewish friends and subscribers, hopefully this Meshuggah Nagosha puts won't ruin it for you. So today we're going to make something that I think is uh, going to be a tribute to Passover. Now, uh, if you don't know the story of Passover, the Jews were held captive in Egypt. And uh, God uh, appeared to Moses and told Moses that he would lead them out of Egypt and, and to their promised land. And so he sent a series of plagues. So there was frogs, there were locusts, you know, some of the things that we eat on the show. I think there might have been coronavirus, not sure. But uh, the last one was the death of the firstborn. And in order to spare the uh, Jews, what he told them was to slaughter a lamb, take the blood of that lamb, and smear it on the lintels of the door so that the angel of death would pass over the Jews. And that's where the, uh, that's where it got its name. So lamb is kind of a big deal on Passover. So what we decided is we're gonna go a little bit unusual and we got some lamb feet. Now, uh, lamb feet, it takes a special kind of cooking method. We're gonna use the pressure cooker. And we're gonna cook this. We're gonna put some onions, some garlic, some ginger, uh, maybe some rosemary, uh, peppercorns in there. And uh, we'll cook this for about, uh, say 45 minutes to uh, an hour. And then we, we may finish them in the broiler. It depends, they may fall apart, fall, fall apart the bone, in which case, not much to put in the broiler. But uh, we're gonna serve those with, uh, the best thing we can come up with to parallel to bitter herbs, which is cilantro. Uh, I don't know if it's official or not, uh, but then we'll go ahead and do it anyway. And the only bread you're allowed to serve with this is matzo, so we have some matzo that we'll serve with that as well. So. We're gonna get cooking. We'll give this about an hour or so, and then we'll uh, come on back and we'll enjoy our lamb's feet. All right, well, here's the fruits of our labors, or rather the meats of our labors. And um, I know that I said that I was gonna finish these in the broiler, so sue me. I, I just thought the meat's kind of falling off the bone anyways, looks really tender and everything. I don't know that putting it in the broiler is gonna actually do anything at all. Now, as far as the bitter herbs, um, I have some cilantro and some arugula, and hopefully that will work. Uh, it's the closest I had, and I have some matzo to go with it. So. Without further ado, or with further ado, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this. It smells really good, and it has that yellow color from the turmeric. Mmm. That skin, that's what you get first, is the skin. And it's kind of gelatinous. There's little bits of meat here, and it is, there is like, it's like a jelly, really. Um, but again, you're cooking down bones, just like when you're making head cheese, the collagen from the uh, bones makes that, that kind of gelatin broth. So, let's see, how is it? You know, let's do this. I'm gonna break off a little pizza. Matzah. I don't know if there's an order to this, and I apologize if I'm doing this wrong. So let's, uh, Wow, look at that. Yeah, it just falls right apart. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a bite, that nice big piece there. Mm. 
a lot of little bones. I bet there is an order to this and I'm screwing it up and I apologize. It does, it make it interesting though, when you put all those flavors together. The matzo, I mean, a lot, a lot of times people think, well, I can use unleavened bread. And unleavened bread is bread that doesn't have yeast in it. But really, matzo, matzo is just water and flour. And there's a special way to make it. So it's kind of like, you want to be authentic, go with matzo. Instead of like a lavash or something along those lines. So, really, like I said, the um, as far as the meat goes, there's not a lot of meat meat on here. Um, so any, if you're expecting it to taste like lamb, or have that lamb meaty taste, it doesn't. This almost, and it's just kind of reverent, but, but this almost tastes like you would want to eat that with like a bowl of rice and, and lima beans. So that's really good. Again, really fattening and gelatinous, uh, but really flavorful. Um, mellow, mild, um, mild as a lamb. And um, yeah, it's a nice combination. So I don't know if this would make like a, a big full, like, you know, you're gonna have it as Seder dinner. You have to have a whole bunch of other things. But you know, for uh, uh, for the goyim that want to do a little bit of something for the Passover, this is kind of a, like a nice thing to do. So give it a shot. Uh, or if you want to criticize me for doing it wrong, you know, leave a comment down below. Let us know. Uh, hopefully, you are uh, getting by in your social distancing or shelter in place or safe at home or whatever you happen to be calling that. Uh, and hopefully, you're able to bring your family together and be able to enjoy a nice. Passover Seder, maybe, you know, electronically. So now, uh, more than ever, l'chaim, uh, take care of yourselves, have good health, and Pesach Sameach. Hope I said that right. We'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the trippy food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.